Arsenal Fan TV. I'm joined here today by Heath Pierce from Kick TV. Um, Heath, first of all, I've got to say, I love your stuff that you do over there on Kick TV. And um, I was glad you're about because I want to get like a sort of a US perspective on all things Arsenal. Starting off with the big game on Sunday, Arsenal versus Manchester United. You know what? It's a bit of a strange one because normally in years gone by, it was the biggest game. Right. right? And I know you used to play football in Europe as well as playing in, in the US, but it used to be the UK's number one game. This season with United not doing that great, it's kind of, it's still a massive game, but not the number one game. What, 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 what have you made of, uh, what have you made of Man United so far and Arsenal this season? Well, Man United has been a little bit disappointing, obviously, because you want, let me backtrack. First, I like the season, how it's gone so far. I like that it's something new, something fresh. In the US, we're so used to the big four, just always battling it out and to have a Leicester City in, in the conversation. It just changes the dynamic a little bit. Yeah. Um, Add that to a Man United that's struggling. They're in fifth right now. There's still some points out. Maybe they can get into a little bit of a battle with City, who I think has fallen out of the title race. But uh, it's a massive game, and they have different reasons for it, right? Man United need to keep trying to pull up to get to a Champions League spot. And then you have Arsenal, who are, are fighting for a title. And I think that this is maybe their game of the season, their match of the season. They do have the North London Derby coming up as well, which will be massive. But I think... I mean, I, I like I like where Arsenal's at right now. I like where Man United's at. When we're going to Man United, we can get a result there. Now, what have you made of Arsenal this season? I mean, there's still a lot of Arsenal fans, me included, still a bit nervous, you know, because we've got a great chance of winning it this year. But we've seen in so many years gone past that we've had that chance and then we've let it slip. Do you see a difference this year or what, what, what are you thinking on it? I'm, I'm just as nervous as you are, man. I mean, as, a, as an Arsenal fan, like you said, we've seen it all in the past. But, and it seems like we've had so many chances this year where teams slip up and an Arsenal who is as strong and as deep as they are can run away with a title and they just didn't do it yet. But now they're still in the conversation. They're still in the picture. Uh, they're very capable of getting past Leicester. I'm not worried about them. Tottenham slowly crept up the table and now are sitting on, on the same points, two points out of first from... Uh, Lester and I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about that. I like Arsenal. I think that they, the effort was there the other night in the Champions League. They lost to Barcelona. I don't think that'll hurt their confidence at all because it is Barcelona at the end of the day. I was going to ask uh, you that. That was going to be like the next question because, you know, sort of the only English club to lose this week. All right, we weren't playing Michelin like uh, United yesterday. But, you know, it's still a loss. Do you think that that would affect their confidence or do you think that they're like, you know what, that's just it's one of them games you write off because they're such a good team, Barcelona? I mean, when you really break it down, you say if Ox finishes his big chance inside the box, maybe the game is different. But at the end of the day, okay, maybe it's 1-0, but it's still Barcelona. The chances of getting out of that game alive are so hard and then having to go to Spain and get a result. This might actually allow them to sort of shift their focus. Not that you want to say, right off, let's write off the rest of the tournament, but they can shift their focus back to the league now and really put that emphasis on, on staying relevant, staying in that fight and wait for, hopefully, a Leicester City to, to drop points and and uh, Tottenham to drop points and, and run away with the title. And you know what? There's a lot of pressure, I feel, on Arsenal going into that game at the weekend because a lot of people are looking at it. Number one, United have having a bad season. But number two, at the moment, they've got something that we've had to go through a lot this season, and that's a lot of injuries. I mean, right. they are missing a lot of key players. Rooney's not going to be playing. Martial's going to be doubtful because he pulled up with an injury um, just before the game last night. They're missing a lot of key players. So... I was even reading a lot of uh, comments on my Twitter feed today and like fans are like, listen, if we don't win that. So there's a lot of pressure on us. Right, right. There's a, there's, a ton, there's a ton of pressure, right? And now Manchester United, like you said, is going through that phase of, of injuries, which is what Arsenal are usually saying this time of year. Going into that winter transfer window, needing to sign a few players, not always getting those players, going into the back stretch and losing some players. I was out at the, actually, actually at, out at the Arsenal grounds yesterday and, it, and some of the injured guys were in. It was a day off for the players and, you know, you see... Uh, Wilshire, you see Rosicki, you see uh, Cazorla, guys that are contributors. And mm. granted, that number is considerably larger last year this time of year. Yeah. Um, and then you see a Manchester United that's going through that. I think it's a prime time as an Arsenal fan to be excited because I think we should be able to go there and get a result and not have it be a 90th minute winner. We should be able to control that match and do what we do and, and take three points. By the way, when you was at the ground yesterday, did you see uh, Santi? Because I know he's, he's apparently not far. Was he running? Was he... I, I actually only saw him in the in the clubhouse, but um, mm. I mean they looked in good spirits. I don't know how that translates to, to being uh, mm. being healthy again, but uh, no, I didn't get a chance to check, and I, I didn't really see them doing any of their workouts. Most of it was gym work. So, 
Okay, now listen. This is the, the big thing I need to ask you now. What do you reckon? Give us your match prediction for Arsenal versus Man United. I'm going with 2-0 to Arsenal. Not just because I'm a fan, but because I believe this is going to be a turning point for the season. I think even though it is against a weakened Man United squad, a win against Man United will do wonders for the confidence. You have a, you have a team that has Alexi Sanchez, you have Giroud, you have Ozil. If we can get them all on the same page, we should be able to put up at least a couple goals and then, you know, hopefully we'll be strong in the back. Subscribe to Arsenal Fun TV. Saturday's games. So, um, in goal, I've gone for uh, Jack Butland of Stoke. Stoke have got a pretty easy game. Um, so, uh, you know, I've loaded up my team with quite a few Stoke players. Um, also gone Ryan Bertrand in defence for 8.7 million. Uh, Voice Child, uh, 7.4 million.